Is Equinox 2024 Super Drop a success? E&D here. As at the recording of this video, 4 drops out of 6 from the Equinox 2024 Super Drop are already sold out. Artist Sears Ravina Kai sold out in just 10 hours. Fallout Points of Interest, Fallout Special and Fallout Vault Boy in just 5 days even less from their release. But should we consider Equinox 2024 Super Drop a success? Equinox 2024 Super Drop consisted of 3 Universes Beyond Fallout Drops and 3 Artist Related Drops. All the drops except one had a significant low content value, average $20 per drop. Only one drop had its content value greater than the selling price, Fallout Vault Boy, that presented us with a content value of nearly $70. It's the second super drop with the pre-printed and therefore limited print run model, meaning that Wizards of the Coast print a certain amount of a drop and once the orders cover all the printed units, there will be no further drops available. The first drop released with the limited print run model was the infamous Raining Cats and Dogs, sold out in about 6 hours, to the delight of the scalpers. Then we had Winter 2024 Super Drop, the first Super Drop released with this limited print run model. Winter 2024 Super Drop was a disaster, only one drop was sold out, the beauty of the beasts. The main reason why I consider Winter 2024 Super Drop a disaster rests in the fact that the drops offered had a very low content value. If you want to sell a secret layer drop, you have to put valuable cards. Selling a drop of 4, 5, 6 cards and their combined value is 10, 15, 20 dollars is the perfect recipe for a failure. And that's exactly what happened with Winter 2024 Super Drop. Very few of us were interested in those drops. Very few of us bought those drops and remained available until the last selling day. At this stage, I wouldn't be surprised that Wizards of the Coast had to destroy the unsold units. Now it's the turn of Equinox 2024 Super Drop. As said, as at the recording of this video, 4 out of the 6 drops are already sold out, including the big bundles. The 3 big bundles offered a special bonus card an alternative artwork ignoble hierarch. That card is also sold out and I assure you it will be extremely limited and rare. Having analyzed all this information, should we consider Equinox 2024 Super Drop a success when compared to Winter 2024 Super Drop? The answer is yes. Yes, because I believe that after the disaster of Winter 2024 Super Drop, Wizards of the Coast learned a lesson. If you are going to offer low value secret layer drops, you must really limit the print run. I am assuming that the print run of Equinox 2024 Super Drop is at least half of Winter 2024 Super Drop. If in the future we are going to finally have really limited drops, we must act fast and grab our drops before they are sold out or else we will be disappointed. I in premise was hesitating to order these drops only because of their low content value. In the end I decided to order the We Celebrate the non foil bundle only because I wanted to grab Artist Series Rovina Kai, the 3 Fallout drops and the special bonus Ignoble Hierarch. Best decision made on the day. <laughs> Leave me a comment below what do you think about the future of secret layer drops and as always subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world. I'm out.